Last time, we discussed about the different stages of development or psychosocial stages of development of Eric Erikson. Now, I'm going to discuss to you the different developmental tasks that you as adolescents are experiencing right now. Although not all of the developmental tasks are very evident to you right now. Uh, These are the things that may happen as you grow in that stage of development. Okay, the first one is I would like to uh, uh, do you call this one? I would like to reiterate to you. First is the shifts in relationship with parents from dependency and subordination to one that reflects the adolescent's increasing maturity and responsibilities in the family and community. So, unang-una, narating din dyan yung point na as I have said kahapon, di ba? Unang isang huling ding meeting natin na hindi mo alam kung ikaw ba talaga ay bata o hindi mo alam kung ikaw ba ay matanda na. As you age, or sa age mo na meron ka ngayon, nagsisimula na yung paghiwalay mo doon sa dependency mo from your parents. Diba? Dati tinutulungan ka ng parents mo gumawa ng assignment, mag-research ngayon, ikaw lang gumagawa lahat. Even your performance tasks. Diba? Uh, dati pinagluluto ka ngayon ikaw na nagpe-prepare ng sarili mo okay ganun pangalawa exploration of new roles of course as now you that you are in senior high school you are looking for yourself you are looking kung ano ka ba talaga kung sino ka at din papasok yung mga gusto mong gawin diba some of you tried to make a band so, tutug kayo, diba? So, ang role nyo ay mag-entertain. Some of you, nag-aaral magluto, diba? Yung iba sa inyo, nag-aaral sa sports o nag-excel sa sports. So, you are exploring kung ano ba talagang bagay sa inyo. Pangatlo, ito, experience of intimate relationships. When you say intimate relationships, ito na yung pagmamahal mo. Pamilya, okay? At sa ina-admiran mo, nililigawan mo, etc. So, syempre, sa age nyo na yan, it's very evident na magkaroon kayo ng crush or crushes or some of you, eh, meron ng boyfriends or girlfriends. Dati, kapag tinanong kayo sinong crush mo, you you are offended. Parang, wala na, di ba lang mo sa isip ko yan. Now, some of you became open-minded about it. Okay? Identity formation of both social and personal levels. So, dito naman sa, pa, sa developmental task na to, you learn how to become sociable. At the same time, you learn how to think abstractly. Meaning, natutunan mo na paano mag-isip ng mas malalim. Kung dati iniisip mo lang anong kakainin mo, anong gagawin mo. Now, you think about ano ba bala ko sa buhay ko? Ano mga yung mga dapat kong gawin sa buhay ko? Okay? Next is planning for one's future and taking the necessary steps to attain the future goal. So, dito na papasok. Diba? Kaya kayo nag-ABM, kaya kayo nag-UMS, kaya kayo nag-STEM. It's because you want to prepare for your future. Although I know Merong mga pagkakataon dyan na magbabago yan. For example, ako, um, I want to take up computer science, but last minute, noong March, March na graduation ko, eh, nag-iba ako ng kursong gustong kunin. And that is psychology. So, nagbabago talaga siya. Ang mahalaga ay meron kang plano kung paano mo aayusin ang future mo. That's more important. And lastly, acquiring range of skills and values needed to make a successful transition into 
adulthood. So, eto na. Nag-aaral ka ng mga bagay na alam mo makakatulong para sa paglago mo bilang tao. For example, diba? Nag-aaral ka ng iba-ibang theories to gain more knowledge about yourself. One else, nag-aaral ka magluto para pag tumanda ka, kayo magluto. Diba? Pinag-aaralan mo kung paano magkumpuni para pagdating ng araw, eh, you will be able to Uh, fix or arrange things that you need to fix right so in short to make that simple in your stage you that is the best stage to acquire or to learn things that you are going to use as you grow as a person diba I know you have a tendency to prioritize your games social media the internet people it's not just as simple as that life is not just a game life is very complex you need to study harder so that you can really focus and you can gain what you need to gain alam ko marami kayong pangarap kaya mas dapat yung gawin e gawin nyo ang mga bagay para makamit nyo ang pangarap nyo. Yes. Sometimes you need to unwind, like playing games, watching movies, but do not literally uh, engross yourself on that thing. Huwag mong hayaan na dun ka lang mag-focus. Work, study, life balance. That's it. Alright? Sunod po. Ito, identity versus role confusion. Diba? We have discussed last meeting, adolescence is identity versus role confusion. When you say identity, this is a self-belief of yourself. What you think of yourself. Kayo ba kailan nyo na kung anong identity nyo? Anong identity mo bilang tao? Kumbaga, sa X-Men, alam na mga mutants kung anong kakayahan nila at ang kailang identity. Aside from Wolverine. Iba si Wolverine eh. Pero, alam ni Storm, alam ni Jean Grey, alam ni Cyclops, and the rest of the mutants kung anong kakayahan nila. Ikaw, you have your identity. And your identity is a belief of yourself. Therefore, If that is a belief, you need to have a right belief on yourself. Because identity is a self-belief. Understood? Ganun po siya. Now, kapag hindi mo nagawa o pag hindi, kapag medyo nagkaroon ng um, overlapping of belief of oneself, dun papasok ang role confusion. Ang role confusion eto po ay yung concept wherein your concept of yourself is having an absence of concept. Which means, ito yung nagkakaroon ka ng pagkalito kung ano ka ba talaga. Maraming tao ngayon As simple as gender, eh hindi nila maisip kung ano ba talaga sila. Babae ba sila o lalaki? Now, Sir JJ, is it wrong? Is it wrong to have a role confusion? No. But if you grow on that role confusion, you will may may ha you will may you may or you may be distorted or others say miserable bakit kasi role confusion sometimes lead to undecided tasks paano ba nabubuo ang role confusion 
Unang-una ka pa ikaw ay nakafocus sa problema mo. Kapag puro na problema lang iniisip mo, talagang malilito ka kung anong gusto mo sa buhay mo. Pangalawa, kaysa kung anong gawin mo, kaysa, kaysa sa unahin mo yung mga bagay na dapat mong gawin, inuuna mo pa kung ano yung mga unnecessary things. That's why there's a rule confusion. Moreover, do not worry if you are presently having a role confusion. Again, it's not bad. But we need to make agap on that thing. Bakit? Kasi pag hindi mo na agapan yan, maaari kang mahirapan pag nag-grow ka na bilang tao. Now, sir, how are we going to avoid role confusion? It's not simple. Okay? The action is not simple, but it's the answer. Uh, when you do the answer, it's not simple, but it's very simple when I say it. Guys, you need to look for your strengths and weaknesses. And you need to accept your weaknesses. That's it. If you look for strengths, at nakita mo strength mo, kakayahan mo, you will start uh, investing on that. Learn new skills. And if you and if you excel on that skill, focus on that. May weakness ka, huwag kang magduel sa weakness mo, kundi magduel ka sa kakayahan mo. In order for you to avoid role confusion. Now, what are the changes that may happen during at your age? Of course, cognitive growth. Na una yan. Turo nga sinabi ko kanina, dati iniisip mo lang, maglaro, kumain, ano nga gawin mo bukas. Ito, nagkakaroon ka ng ideya tungkol sa kasiyahan, tungkol sa buhay, tungkol sa freedom, tungkol sa human rights, o tungkol sa ano pa mga abstract, abstract things. Dito na papasok ang iyong paniniwala tungkol sa relihiyon kaya sa age nyo may mga nagiging atheist may mga, may mga nagiging theist may mga nagiging walang pakailam sa kanila paniniwala may mga tao naman na nagkakaroon ng sariling teorya pagdating sa kanilang pagdating sa kanilang teorya sa kanilang paniniwala tungkol sa politika dyan na yun dati iniisip mo lang ah uh, bakit gano'n na itsura ni Spongebob? Dati gano'n na iniisip mo. Ngayon, iniisip mo na ano ba talaga ang meron sa Pilipinas? Ba't kanto ang Pilipinas? Ngayon ba? Dati iniisip mo lang paano makapunta ng bikini bottom. Ngayon, iniisip mo na paano mo pupuntahan yung future mo ng maayos. Gano'n na nangyayari sa inyo ngayon. And this is very true. Idealism is a very prominent among adolescents. Yes. Idealism Or being idealistic Parang lahat ng bagay Kailangan yung gawin Lahat ng bagay Kailangan Kailangan ay sundin To the point Na parang kahit Imposibleng magawa You will push Na gawin And that is Very evident At your age Okay For example, the student council. The student council, uh, they are very idealistic when it comes to their to their ah uh, tama kailang platforms. But if you will look into it, some of the platforms are not applicable for DLA senior high school. And that is an example of being idealistic. Sa so, sobrang open-minded mo sa lahat ng bagay, lahat gusto mong gawin. And lastly, experimentation is common activity. Ayan, napaka-talamak yan pagdating sa inyo. ba? Diba? Kaya sa age nyo na yan, marami dyan ang nauuso yung mga bisyo. I don't know, but I heard some stories na may mga nasa age nyo that they already engage in premarital sex kasi you are curious about it that's why you do it right 
isa pa. May mga nauuso ngayon. Yung mga iba't ibang challenge, challenge na yan sa social media. You are trying to experiment. Why? Because you are searching for your identity. You are trying different things na gusto mong malaman kung ano ka ba talaga. Kaya lang, hindi naman masama ang kailangan ng sarili o ma-experiment. Kaya lang, dahil sa sobrang experimentation na nawawala na yung tamang gawain. Nawawala na yung moral beliefs or values ng individual. Kaya, ano nangyayari? Nahihirapan. Nasasaktan sa huli. Sir, are we going to pass this everything? Yes! You will pass all of this. Don't worry. Darating ang time dyan na pag nakita mo yung mga dati mong ginawa, tatawanan mo na lang. Darating yung mga time dyan na yung mga post mo na parang JJ mo dati, pag tinigman mo, tatawanan mo na lang. And that is very true. I remember nung tinitinan ko yung mga pictures ko dati, pinang tatawanan ko na sarili ko, balkan ito yung itsura ko noon. Oo. At gano'n na itsura ko noon, bakit? Kasi I am experimenting. I am trying to do experimentation kasi I am looking for myself. But as time goes by, you will really, you will really see kung ano talaga ang iyong identity. So, huwag niyo madaliin. Huwag mong madaliin yan. Just focus. Isa pa, socializing among male and female adolescents also occur in this stage. Yes. Marami na kinayang kilalang tao. ba? Diba? Hindi na kayo masyado nahihiya kung paano makipag-usap sa ibang tao. And it's normal. At ito na nga po yung sasabi ko kanina. Sexual experiment- experimentation. Ayan. Walang mali siya, ha? Pero, in this part, dyan na, nagkaka- dyan na, na-, na papasok yung masturbation, premarital sex, yung panood ng porn, dito na sisimula. Kasi, you are experimenting. You are curious about things. Kaya, ito na po. Okay? Now, adolescence and social behavior. Today, it's very uh, evident yung millennials. Diba? Although, uh, Sir JJ is part of, of the millennial millennials. Bakit? Kasi it to, uh, it's about or these are people who were born from 1980s to 2000. Okay? Kayo, I may not say na millennial kayo. Or parang post-millennial something kayo. Ganon-ganon. Uh, these people are called digital natives kasi may technology na. Ito na yung mga namula sa cellphones, sa Google, etc. Kaya na po, the social lives of the millennials are driven by technology and their social interactions are dictated by their use of social networks, mobile phones, and other gadgets. I've heard one time, I've heard one time na sinabi niya, ano, pumunta, nag, I have a friend of mine na nagkataon na pinuntahan namin lugar ay walang signal. So, hirap na hirap kami kumuha ng signal, kumuha ng communication. Alam mo, sabi niya sa akin, Sir JJ, feeling ko, pag walang internet, wala ako. Yun. Dahil doon, that's an example of a millennial. ba? Diba? Na para pag walang wifi, walang internet, hiniyak kayo mabuhay. Although not all, not all millennials are that kind of people. There are millennials who prefer travel, gala, YOLO. You only live once. So they would do adventure trips. They would do a travel. Okay? Yan na po. So, ano mga dapat yung gawin? Since you are under identity versus role confusion, ano mga kailangan yung gawin? Unang-una, be courageous in standing up. Some of the adolescents today or nowadays 
ay hindi marunong tumayo sa sarili paninindigan kung anong paninindigan mo doon ka pumunta huwag mong hayaan na ikaw ay ma-identify sa mga taong gumagawa ng mali if your friends are persuading you to do things or experimentation if you know na hindi yun maganda be courageous to say no because from saying no you will definitely go to a period na pasalamatan mo what does it mean? mas magandang hindi mo naranasan ang mga bagay na masakit kasi dyan, kasi ano ka, mapalad ka dun although it's okay to learn the hard way because you will really learn in short it's on your own perspective, it's your own decision pero kung ayaw mo masira buhay mo say no kung may mga kaibigan ka na that they are engaging to primarital sex or drugs say no kasi matutulungan ka doon kung may mga kaibigan ka na puro inom bisyo, inom, inom, bisyo say no guys, it's true say no kasi mahirap singilin ng mga bagay na mahihirapan ka sa huli tangalawa developing oops, sorry oops, developing self-esteem so here you need to avoid comparison. You need to avoid the fact na iniwasan mong tumingin sa iba. Unang-una, bakit? Kasi, meron kang sariling identity. Hindi kayo pare-parehas ang identity. Hindi kayo pare-parehas sa pwede mangyari sa buhay nyo. Kahit ang kambal na magkapatid, ano mang kambal na magkapatid, kahit ang kambal, may sarili-sarili sa may mga sarili silang identity nila. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na dahil magkasama kayo lagi, eh, eh yun, kung ano meron sa kanya, yun na sa'yo, no. It's your job to look for your own. E ang nangyayari, kung yung isang tao ay eh, parang, nakakaangat na siya talitalino niya ako ang bobo-bobo ko no talaga hindi ka talaga mag-grow kung sakaling na, nakakompare mo sarili mo na siya ang ganda ng buhay niya natalino siya marami siyang pera samantalang ako ito ako stop that you need to you need to have a new perspective diba always learn to look at your goal. Ano ba ang gusto mo sa dulo? At imbes na tumingin ka sa iba, pwede bang tumingin ka dun sa mga bagay na pwede mong pagkabalahan para matulungan ka bilang tao? Right? Kapag nagawa mo yun, of course, time will come, that will become a skill. Diba? ba? Siyempre, kapag naghahanap ka ng isang bagay na gusto mong matunan and you learn it, it becomes, a, it becomes a, school, a skill. And when it becomes a skill, you will really use it. And when you use it, you will be discovered na magaling ka dun sa skill na yun. At kapag na-discover na magaling ka sa skill na yun, your self-esteem may be developed. So in short, to make it simple, just look at yourself and look for the things that will strengthen you in order to develop self-esteem. Next is being true to yourself and avoiding a tendency to please others. Yes. People, in our present age, hindi mo mapiplease ang tao. Kung ayaw niyang samahan ka, eh di wag. Kung Kung, kay, kung kailangan mo lumayo, go. Why? Kasi, hindi mo talaga mapiplease ang tao. At kapag patuloy mong plinis ang tao, mapapagod ka lang. So, ang kailangan mong gawin, eh, you need to be true to yourself. You need to focus on the things you need to do. You need to focus on yourself as you grow as a person. Naintindihan? 
ganun po yun. And, la and another thing, that's, uh, it's not the last one. Learning how media and advertising are trying to influence your thinking and feelings. People, uh, I need to tell you this one. What you see in the social media are lies. Let's say some of their some of the things there you can see is uh is how dito very helpful for you. Mga katulong yan para sa iyo. Pero hindi lahat. Unang-una, kapag nakita mo yung kaibigan mo na maraming likes, nang post lang ng OTW to this one. Tapos isang daan agad ng likes. Tapos sa yun nag-post ka ng political political concept or something na makakatulong para sa ibang tao tapos ang nag-like start low dalawa, lima eh and you don't need to look at, at it in the first place ang media sanungaling yan so hindi hindi ka hindi hindi mo pwedeng ikumpara ang sarili mo sa nangyayari sa social media at lalo na sa media. Isa pa, yung mga artista na yan, yung mga artista na na nakikita nyo, ano nyo guys, some of them are doing just for the sake of because they are actors and actresses. So do not compare your lives to them. Okay, advertisements. Guys, siyempre, ang number one goal ng mga yan ay makabenta. So, lima, wag gusto kong pumuti. Bibili ka ng papaputi. Eh, kung hindi ka naman hindi na kayang pumuti, eh, bakit ka pang papaputi? Diba? Ganun lang yun. So, aside, so, imbis na mag-focus ka sa papaputi mo, bakit hindi mo gawin, eh, mag-focus ka doon sa mapapalakas ang pagkatao mo? Diba? Guys, hindi masamang mapaputi. Pero, tiyakin mo na hindi mo mapapabayaan ang mga bagay na kailangan mong gawin para ikaw ay mag-grow as a person. Okay? Becoming aware and critical and involved with social issues. Ito. Uh, What kind of social issues, sir? Oh, wag nila man yung puro K-pop. It's a social issue, yes. It's, but it's not, it's not an issue. Okay? It's an entertainment. Social issues. For example, poverty, ito, corruption, the injustice of the, of the justice system of the Philippines. Yun nangyayari ngayon sa Pilipinas na Marami na lulung sa drugs. Alam mo, mas napat yan ang mga intindihin mo. Sir, pag iintindi ko, ano mangyayari? O at least magiging aware ka na ganito pa yung nangyayari sa bansa. And everything starts in awareness. Pag naging aware ka sa nangyayari, you will do things para hindi ka maging ganun. O hindi ka makakapunta sa bagay na maaari kang maimpluensyahan maging ganun. Okay? For example, Today or nowadays, poverty is very rampant. What do you mean by rampant? Usong-uso yun. So, syempre, to avoid poverty, what do, you, what do you do? Or what do you need to do? You need to study hard. You need to graduate. You need to have a job. Di ba? That's it. O, ano pa? Um... Uh, Corruption, ito. Uh, ako dati gusto dating maging politician. Oo. Gusto kong mag ng isang community dati. Pero nung nalakita ko na madumi ang politika, ayoko na. Ayoko na kasi stress lang yan, nakakapagod. I would rather learn new things and teach rather than leading. And... Kung sa, para sa Pilipinas, ganito na nangyayari, I'm pretty sure na mas lalala pa to pagdating ng panahon. Sir, why do we need to be aware 
of the social issues. You need to be aware of the social issues dahil pagdating ng panahon, hindi lang yan ang mananasan mo. Next, embracing a healthy lifestyle. Siyempre, iwas, iwas, iwas sa puyat. Kain din ang tama. <laughs> diba? Yun lang. Ganun lang yun. Diba? Siya, tapos, siyempre, basa-basa din. <laughs> hindi lang po, hindi lang puro kung ano-ano pinagawa mo. Kailangan magbasa ka rin para, para mag-grow ka. And, lastly, you need to develop your spirituality. I don't know kung ano ang paniniwala nyo tungkol sa higher beings. But you know what, people? It's very important to have faith. Why? Because it gives meaning to your life. You have a basis on how you are going to dwell or to deal in the life that you have right now. People, I came to know the Lord when I was um, year 2011. Anong ilang taon ako nun? Year 2011, that is seven years ago. So, let's say I am 17 years old. So, I came to know Him. I came to really know Him when I was 17. And you know what? When you have faith in God, you will really understand na ang buhay mo ay hindi lang umiikot sa mga physical na bagay, kundi umiikot sa spiritual na bagay. Though I will not elaborate on this matter, it's important to have something, it's very important to have something na magagawa mo paniwalaan. Sir, for example, I'm an atheist. Okay, if you are an atheist, okay, bakit? You dwell on that. Okay? I will not force you to believe that there is a God. No. Kung ano ang natulak siya para mga atheist, now, do what will benefit you from that. Ganun lang. Okay? Okay. So, ito. Yun na. So, this is the lesson for today. Okay? So, I hope that will be helpful for you. Alright?